Hello and welcome to the uh, 16th part of Risen 2. At least I believe it's 16th. Yeah, it should be. Um, just uh, in, the, in the last video, I've finally got all the supplies for mine and Slain's ship. And Slain wants to show me where I can find this sacrificial dagger he's been raving on about. Um, that apparently helped me kill Mara. So, yeah, I'm on his boat now and I'm going to go and speak to him. We can now leave Antigua. Then get on that boat of yours. Tell your helmsman to put you ashore on the Isle of Thieves. Isle of Thieves? You'll see once you get there. All right, but you better not be far behind. Don't worry, sport. I'll be there. I'll see you on the Isle of Thieves. Okay, so the Isle of Thieves is where I go. It's quite exotic around these parts, and the sea looks quite inviting, but seeing that my character doesn't know how to swim, I'm not going to jump in and take a dip. Aye. Talk back, the local lady. hooker. He got thrown overboard for his There's, There only seems to be one hooker They're in these parts. Psychos, Considering it's meant to be a pirate island, I'd expect more hookers. Though now pro people probably think I have an obsession with hookers, but I don't. My helmsman is following me. Okay. Set sail. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, where is this place? She, ah, it's none of them. Do I have to talk to her first? Oi, Patty. I got the Earth Amulet. Then we have another Titan artifact. And it better be worth all the effort it took getting it. It's that or you can pull your famous scowl and see if Mara runs away. If it doesn't even work on you. Oh no, I'm staying. We've got a lot to do. Hmm. Both ships are fully stocked. Oh, you really are my hero. Emma the voodoo witch said I was a child of destiny. What the hell does that mean? Some child of destiny. I've hardly done anything so far. Oh, are you going to be like this the whole way? So some kooky voodoo lady told you a tuppany fortune. Does it make a difference to what you do? No, so that's enough moping. Just saying. Slane says he wants to meet me on the Isle of Thieves. Hmm, I know where it is, but not much else about it. How would she know? It's not that encouraging. If you die, I guess we'll know it was a trap. You haven't heard anything about the Air Temple, have you? Tons, actually, but still don't know where it is. What about an island at the heart of a magical storm? Sounds like superstitious rubbish. But there is Storm Island. Maybe that's it. I even know the way there. Storm Island, huh? I could kiss you. Let's go. How would she know about these places? It's time to set a new course. Well, we'll go aye, to... Aye, Captain. We'll go to Thieves Island first, assuming that we promised uh, Captain Faggot will go there. Oh, there's a man hanging there. Is it a man? Or is it just supplies? It looks... No, never mind. It doesn't look like a man now. When I look closer. What a shame. These original names. Isle of Thieves. Isle of Storms. Isle of the Dead. If the end place is called Isle of Mara, I'm done. Oh, we arrive in the night, the best time. Welcome to the Isle of Thieves. 
Mmm, nice. Slain ships anchored over there, but I'd bet he'll be ashore by now. Perfect, I'll row across. Think you can manage without me? Yes, can you? I want to bring Voodoo Woman with me because she's got a heal. I must tell you something, Gucho. Uh oh. I made a mistake. In coming along? Guchos in charge usually die. They're warriors too. Can you not even pretend to have faith in me? You are a strong leader. Sorry, who are you and what have you done with Chani? You have shown me many things. Other people and lands. Other ways of seeing the world. I was wrong to doubt you. Our joined blades will cut out Mara's heart. Yay! Good, I'm glad you're with me. But no doubt I'll want to throw you overboard again soon. <laughs> Chi. Come with me. Come with me. Good. There's no yes. She's just good. Wait, what? Roast the island alone? No! And it's stormy. That's gonna be a fight. I've seen worse places. The Isle of Thieves. Little piece of paradise on the edge of civilization. Is it inhabited? Only by gnomes. Gnomes? I nearly trod on a few of the pests somewhere to the north, but I can't see them coming this far around the island. Bravery isn't their thing, and this is dangerous territory. I've met brave gnomes in my time. All the ones I've met have been cowardly, annoying, thieving little pests. But we've got bigger things to worry about. No, I want to see the gnome! Let's get down to business. Aye, aye, sport. Where is this hiding place of yours? Along the beach, then further inland. I'll lead, you follow. Check your weapons first, though. There are wild animals and worse here. I'm ready. If I were you, sport, I'd keep my weapon drawn. Off we go. Okay. Oh no, a giant crab! Maybe I should open all these oysters that I've got. Might get some more pearls. Or do I not have any anymore? Because I just seem to be selling the shells just as. Got it. Nothing here to take. Nothing. Nothing here to take. Okay. Come on, Slane. Lead the way. Why is he stopping? Takes us inland from here. Good. Let's keep going. Stay close behind me. Why behind? Steal yourself. Ah, that's the way to do it. This slaying guy is pretty, pretty good with a sword. Better than Patty, the useless gypsy. I don't even know why I've got a, a Jippo as my helmsman, helmswoman, even. Not much further now. The cave's at the end of the path. Oh no. Not termites. Vines! Oh yeah, termites have nothing on them. I can't eat termite! Follow me. I'm sure they'd have loads of protein on them. Om nom nom termites. Aha, there's a cave. Come. Yes, I am coming. See, there's the cave mouth right there. 
The sacrificial knife is inside. Good. Surprised we didn't run into more beasts on the way. In the cave, there's a chest. The knife's inside it. Hold on, you're not coming. Best I stand guard here, sport. Hurry, we don't have all day. There's a trap. He's gonna lock me in here. I'm gonna have to save before I come in. Let me guess. The knife isn't here. Betrayal. Is that it? It's not all been a wasted journey, sport. Here's a little present from Mara. No! He's so mean! That bastard slain tricked me. I have to find a way out of here. Who lives in sort of places you like this? Get the snuff box, took a large pinch, and walked calmly across the marketplace. That afternoon, he picked the pockets of Caldera's finest gentry. Alas, had he known it would be his last day as a free man, he would have hidden his loot from the greedy traders. Aha! <gasps> the snuff box! There's no need for me to sleep in their bed. Though I shall say. Termite, have at ya! Yeah. See, I like killing termite warriors. They don't really fight back and I can just plow into them. Whilst the warriors are a bit more ballsy. Oh, what's that going in the corner? No, don't go on me. Yes. What's this glowing thing? Pirate dagger. Grog and a cursed doll. Are the sword thorns worth it at least? Perhaps I should eat that before I carry on trucking through these caves. Though I'm not sure what kind of plant would increase your ability to stab things. Well, see, it looks dodgy down there now. Let's get some gold. I wish I had caves like this around my house so I could just take out a crummy old pickaxe I'd find and uh, find some gold in it. Alas, only such things in video games. Now where the hell am I?
No! Oh, they fight like any other big one. Fuck me, how many of them are there? Can I evade all of these? Oh, gold. Ah. How the hell do I get up there? Doesn't seem like I can jump high enough. And this way just seems to be a dead end, almost. He doesn't seem to reach his arms out, otherwise he would have grabbed hold of it. No, it doesn't seem like I can get up there. Perhaps it's only a way down rather than a way up. We'll do a save. Not a load, a save. We'll fight some of these. Possibly I just have to run. Roll away! No clue where I am now. Let's turn back into running the game. Everything's gone. My ship, my crew. Patty, I need to find a way off this island. I need to find a gnome! Is this a gnome? Oh my god, they look amazing. You can talk? Jaffa talk? Jaffa clever? Our oh, cleverest bastard gnome. Fuck yes! Learn to talk from listening to pirates. A talking gnome? That's a new one. Although I guess learning from pirates would explain all the... The pirates bad. Bad 
good shit for Brains Pirates. You know a way off this island? Jaffa want to leave too. Island boring. You take Jaffa, and Jaffa help you. Deal, yes? You want me to take you with me? Yes, yes, Jaffa like that. You think you can help me? Jaffa can build fun out in a bottle. Um, small boat, no problem. You can build a raft. You know here, Kurt? Jaffa one clever fucker. Amazing. Yes, build a raft. So what do you need to make the raft? Bring ten wood, feed long vine, and six shirt for sale. That's enough. Hold on, you need ten wooden planks, and fee is five, right? Fee, five. Five. Oh, fuck yes. So five vines and six shirts to make a sail. Got it. All right, you build me a raft, and I'll take you with me. Deal? Deal! Fuck yes! All right, then. We're partners. Fuck yes. Fuck yes! Oh, bollocks. You've got me doing it now. Now homie follow Jaffa to jungle. We go to Casa Cava. We're going to a cave. Are um, there more gnomes there? Gnomes live in own cava in jungle. Sounds lovely. Let's go. Well, all the slow parts of the game have made up for this one moment. Because <sighs> the gnomes are absolutely amazing. He's got a little knife! No, no, I need to loot! My pirate senses are tingling. I like his huge feather he's got in his hat also. It doesn't move, it looks pretty static, but still, it's awesome. Why couldn't I start the game as a little gnome? I have to be this stupid man with an eye patch. Jaffa's Casa Cava. Good cave. You need Jaffa. Jaffa here. I'll remember that. Just one thing. Why? Where can I find the wood? Dingy Marrow Bottle. Wood come to land from broken boat. Do looky looky. Driftwood from shipwrecks. Where can I find vines? Dingy Tala, hanging high in jungle on tree. Oh, silly homie. No casa cava. Gnomes live in cave. Cave in jungle. That makes sense. Where can I find the shirts? Talk to other gnomes. Gnomes busy fuckers. Always collecting and trading. No casa cava. Gnomes live in cave. Cave in jungle. A visit to Cave of the Gnomes. There's something to look forward to. Let's have a look inside his little cave first. Oh, he's got a vine here. He's holding out on me. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, that's where the port is. This is where Thingy's little. He's got. He's even holds turkey. Well, I guess I'm just looking around the island now for bits and bobs. It's quite a nice looking island. 
Oh, let's kill these. Must be some driftwood here. A bed. But no driftwood, that's it's rather silly. I could just take away the wood from the cart. It must just be the wrong dimensions for him. He's a he's a picky pirate and a picky gnome. This, however, looks like driftwood. How does he fit all this driftwood in his pocket? They're so big. There we go, I have all the driftwood for him. Now I just need vines from the jungle. No, giant crab. Leave me be. And the gnomes just randomly live in the jungle. Big cat. Panthers who's strong. <laughs> the gnome village. Maybe you could help me. I need some shirts. What? You don't understand? Okay, let's try something else. Me looking for things. You have things. Then you give them to me. Timmy Dingy? Nuri Blemo. Blemo? Tippy Timmy Dingy. Takobala. Okay, this isn't working. Can you at least show me what you've got? Tippy Dakobala. Dakobala? That sounds familiar. My God. I've got something for you. Oh, Nori Smila! How about this gold plate? Ni. I swear, if you say ni one more time, 
<laughs> Strangle you, yes, to death. See? Shiny gold coin. Ooh. Dingy tingy. Dingy kaka. Shit. Why, you little. It's gold. Gold. Nee. Not good enough, huh? He doesn't want anything. How about a pretty pearl? Yip, yip, bella fabo. Kippy dako dako. You like it better, but it's not dako enough. Well, how about a pretty gold ring? Mm. Me. No. Kuki famo. Kuki ni dako. Choosy little fucker, aren't you? Don't you understand anything I'm saying? What? Do you want to swap? Dingy, yes? Homi Gippy, Bully Dingy? Yes, Gippy Dingy, and you give me Dingy. What? Is this any better? What? Does it help if I speak slowly? Homi Gaga? Crazy? Oh, I'll be crazy in a minute, alright? I'm gonna bloody throttle you. Yes, throttle, strangle you, got it? This is getting me nowhere. I'll just have to show him what I want. I have to show him what I want. Jade. Gold nugget. Oh, he had a little vine. There must be more gnomes that live in this little village. <laughs> Another one. Damn it. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, he's got a doll. Yeah, I'm human. Who are you? Ulvi, no. Right. Ulvi must wait. He's lonely. Mulo plemo, granny plemo. Got any things you want to swap? Ulvi, many things. But Fred must wait. You're waiting for someone? Yep, yep. Ulvi wait for Khalil many whole hours. Who's Khalil? Khalil Ulvi's friend. Do everything together. But Khalil go dangerous place. Silly Khalil. <laughs> what happened? Go to beach. Khalil not come back. We'll be alone now. You think something bad happened to him? Bad? Yes. Mulo bad. What if I went looking for him? Human help will be. Then will be help human, yes. Will be Mulo sad. Okay. So he's missing on... Oh, do I have to set my quest? Where is it? Maroon, build a raft. Lost gnome. Haha! -ha. Then I'll go find his little friend. Her little friend. I think it's a her. It sounds a little bit like a her. Spirit Lily. I find all these plants everywhere, but I have no... They, like, they only give you five regens, so I don't really see the point in them. Oh, there's loads of crabs. Three! Three giant crabs! Ah, ah, ah. It's horrible. I can't fight that many at once. Four!
Why did that slow mo? And that one did also. Where's the little goblin? Khalil. You all right, little guy? Your grandma's cold? Okay. Tango, tango, pronto, crito. No, scared. Ah, uh, critters. You mean those nasty looking crabs? Yip, yip, to help you. Peso, peso. You're safe to go home now. Homie famo, crito morxa. I murksed the hell out of them. To famo, homie compo, to taki dona. A gift? Thanks. That's, um, generous. Yip, yip, homie compo. Don't go wandering off and getting into trouble, okay? Miss Mila, mi casa cava. I don't know what you just said, so whatever. Yip, yip. They sound like those little. They're called Jawas in Star Wars. Kind of the same thing as well, they just go around trading. Oh wait, no, this way. I'll go speak to the other little one about his friend coming back, or her friend. Hopefully she will trade. Hopefully. Oh, it's just like a super gnome. Khan! Ah, these are stories about gnomes who set off on a quest to find a special item. Unfortunately, most of it's written in gnomish. I'll speak to Khan. Melo Pumpo. A human has found its way onto our island. You are far from your own people on this island, human. <laughs> I got stranded here. Ah, so you need supplies. And you plan to steal them from us, is that it? Everyone's just out for what they can get. On that point, our people can be quite similar. I saw no others. You are here alone. Just me. That's it. Good. Then you are welcome here. What can I do to help you, my human friend? I wish I knew more about your people. It's rare for a human to take an interest. I have records in my cave. You're welcome to read them. Nuri wants me to give him a Dako Bala. What is that? Dako means very dark, darker than the night. And Bala means round. Round like a plate, or a ball, for example. So he wants a pitch black round thing? That would be my conclusion. Okay, I can work with that, thanks. Black pearl, then. For a gnome, you speak my language pretty good. I do not speak it good, I speak it well. And better than you, I think. I traveled back in my day. It became necessary to learn your tongue. It would have been foolish to expect humans to learn my language. You're so cut off out here, doesn't it get to you? I suppose it has its disadvantages. Yeah, like... Are you incapable of speaking in sentences? Yep. Humans are strong. 
strong enough to scavenge riches from beasts and monsters, we are not so lucky. Resourceful, but not strong. We have a monster here, too. A terror in the north. And what's this monster after? Never start a sentence with a conjunction. Or end them with punches. Bless Oshona! Yeah, yeah. Tell me about your monster. It creeps into our caves at night to carry off its prey. We call it Grane Gozo. Three souls have found themselves in its belly so far. If I can't stop it, we will all find our way there soon. Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Two mooks of Gozo? Well, I don't see anyone else around here volunteering for the job. Me afraid of Gozo mooks are two. Ato homie! Just don't correct my grammar when I come back saying I made it dead. Where can I find you, monster? It's not far from here. From my cave, walk a short distance south, then head left and take the path east. Don't know what kind of monster it is, but I'll take care of it. Do not know, you mean. Yeah, whatever. Okay. But I need to speak to the other gnome first. Well, the other two gnomes, because apparently one of them wants something black and round. And I presume that's a black pearl. And the other needs their friend. What? Oh, I see. Your friend. I understand. About your friend, Khalil. He gave me this feather. Khalil give feather? Tan tan umi? All we know about Khalil? All we thank humans and give black pearl? Don't suppose you have any shirts? Human friend? All we give shirt for human? Thanks, little guy. Yay. Nuri? Is that the one I want to speak to? I suppose. Do you have something like this here? Ah! Homi taki dingi! Taki halpo homi! Homi gipi dakobala! Nuri halpo homi! So you've got a shirt, but you want dakobala for it? I've got something for you. Oh! Nuri smila! A pitch black pearl. Oh, homie, keep it up, Bala. Nori smila tantan. Halpo compo pleso. So, a sweaty, smelly shirt for a black pearl. Miss Mila, homie compo. Yes, you really are a cheating little tight ass, aren't you? Yip yip. <laughs> okay, right. So I'll hunt down this monster that's eating them. I can find it. The gnome eater. So it's just this way. Perhaps I should. Yeah, I should save just in case. Last thing I want is to get one shot by some super goblin, goblin eating monster or gnome eating monster. Okay. Oh, it looks... what is it? An ogre? Like a troll or something? There are lots of dead things here. Wait, what? I have no gun! Did it 
eat my gun? No fucking way! Damn it. I'll get the cutlass out. It's eating another weapon. It's having a laugh. just seems to consume everything I send it is. Weaken enemies, crab stabber, it's not really gonna help. It doesn't seem to be dying. But it doesn't seem to be eating the old sword either. So there's got to be something more about this.
Okay. So, I think... I'll try this. Maybe if it's weaker, then... I can beat it, hopefully. I feel kind of cheap doing this. But it seems to be killing him now, at least. No! It's annoying that some of the shots just randomly go through him. Fucking hell. Die, damn it. Considering this is a weapon that's meant to kill titans, I wouldn't really say it's strong. But it gets the job done.
How do you miss? Like that, apparently. Finally! And all it drops is raw fish. What a bastard. Guess it's its little grotto. It's locked chest. Fuck me, that took a lot of killing. Why can't I take this sheet here and use that as a uh, sail? That was a little turkey. The more I use the spear and the less I use the swords, it makes me think, should I have just leveled up spears instead of slashing weapons? Because the range and the versatility of the, the spears is incredible. And it makes me think if I've taken the wrong one. Is this the right house? Who knows? No. Taking care of you, Granny Gozo. Me molos me la homie. How can I ever repay you for this heroic act? Quitting your grammar obsession will be a good start. I shall restrain myself. Please, take this as a token of thanks. May it serve your cause. So what do gnomes do here all day? Not like there's anyone around to steal from. We are preparing for our great solstice festival. You are welcome to join us as my guest. Appreciate it, but I hope to be long gone by then. Oh, Molo pity. Get me off this island as soon as possible. Well, Takarigua isn't so far away. You could get there in a boat, even a raft. Jafar's built a raft. He wants to leave with me. Ah, Jafar. A brave gnome, but not always the wisest one. You shall be a fine choice as his master, I'm sure. Huh? What are you on about? You must understand how it works. You needed help, and he needed Trawamata. You will be his leader. And his teacher. I am too old to do it. Without help, neither you nor my pivy will get far. I suppose I could be his teacher. I accept. Molo Smila. I am glad to hear it. However, I must warn you, stranger. He is young, and his head is full of human foolishness. I really can't pick him. So what do I have to do as Jafar's Matar? Teach him your language, keep him safe, lead him to his Ori Koki. On the day that he finally finds it, honor his success and present him with his new rank. A 
And what's an Ori Kolki exactly? To destiny. No gnome knows its form. Not until he sees it. Something shiny and preferably gold, then. Not necessarily. However, it must be something precious. It must impress his peers. This is what will earn him his honor. If it is not good enough, he will not cross over into the next world upon his death. You understand? In no way. Well, you will soon enough. You will see something special. I think I get what I have to do. Remember, he is your responsibility. If he does not fulfill his mission, that failure belongs to you. Oh, great. Good fortune on your journey. No offense, but is he going to steal from us? Collecting items of value is just our nature. Forbidding a gnome to gather treasure is like telling him not to breathe. It may be better if you did not leave your valuable items unattended. Why did I agree to this? So, I'm afraid it's time for me to get going. Take care, Khan. Thanks for the grammar lessons. Take care of your Ah, a giant leaf! May you reap great spoilage in your adventures. Ah, you mean spoils. Dunno, maybe. Be safe, stranger. Well, I need more shirts before I can leave. Ah, oh, these are stories about... Oh, do a bit of a jump. Hey, yum. Okay, is this another lucky coincidence? Maybe this could help me. As if by a miracle he survived the shooting, the bullet being stopped by a coin which he carried in his breast pocket. Because of this, he swore to keep the coin for his journey to the underworld. I already have the coin. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 it's icky! <laughs> bad, bad thing happened! What's up with you? Humans, stay away from Zeki! Thieving beast steal Zeki's most precious thing. Zeki's life all over now. Bad luck getting mugged in the middle of nowhere. This is the Isle of Thieves, I suppose. Zeki not need sympathy. Need his thing back. What did these monster ants steal exactly? Everything. All Zeki things. If only Zeki still had our cookie at least. Can I help at all? Human help, Zeki? Take yes. Take cookie from Ant Cave? Oh, but Ant Cave very dangerous. It's human, sure. I'll get your Ori Kolki back. Zeki very grateful. Keep human shirt off back. Uh, right. That's just what I need. Right, so I just need shirts now. And a coconut. Cheese. Two gold and some grog. I feel kind of ba bad just stealing up his stuff out of his house, but it's just the way it's, it is, it seems. Right then, set my quest to... Oh, it's the other direction. Anyway, before I set off to this uh, ant cave, I think I'm done for now. So thank you for watching, and tune in for next time.